Now we will talk about the data tables. While working on automation, we may face a variety of scenarios. Each scenario, each scenario carries a different meaning and needs. Since the beginning, we have been taking an example of login functionality for social networking, for a social networking site, where we just had two inputs parameters to be passed. Let's think of some more possibility. How about new user regist registration functionality? Typically, what can be input parameters while registering a new user for a social networking site? Something like the following. We need the username, email, password, re-enter password, birth date, gender, and phone number. So, those we need, we need to provide all, all those informations at once, okay? So, our scenario will be like, like this. The scenario name, and then given, I'm on a new user registration page, when I enter valid data on the page, and here we have fields, fields and values. For the field, we can provide the first name, the last name, email address, re-enter email address, password, and birth date. And we provide the values here. And then, in the coding part, we can intercept this data, this data table, and, and use all all the data without having, uh, without needing, without need to uh, to create a scenario outline, for example, to, to create repetitions, or, uh, or or repeating the same scenario in order to to provide all those informations. So, this is this is all about the Cucumber framework and the Gherkin syntax. Now we will we will uh, go to the next part, which is creating or implementing what we what we saw uh, in the theoretic part so we need to so we need to start coding to to better understand these parts so what we will do in the next coding part we will create a new features file a new feature file we will create different scenarios we will create a new java project and adding the cucumber depend dependencies create the steps and testing. We will do this using the BDD approach and as we explained here in the first part before, it will be like this. So first of all, we will describe the behavior, then we will write step definition. Second, we will run and fail, write code to make step pass and run and pass. And we will do this iteration until we get, we get until we finish our our tests. So for this case, we will try to uh, to write scenarios to to test. Uh, for example, creating, updating, and uh, removing uh, persons. For example, managing a list of persons in the database. But in our case, we will not uh, we will not use a database connection. But we will store all the data in uh, in a list. Okay, so we will start a project from scratch. We will, we will start by creating uh, or uh, preparing our feature files. I will show you also how to prepare the, the environment, the environment setup, what we, what we need to, to create all this and uh, which plugin we need to, in, to install. Second, we will, uh, second, we will try to while writing the, the feature file, we will try we will try to see all the different parts I, I mentioned here. For example, the, the syntax of the gherkin and the cucumber, features, uh, scenarios. Also, uh, also we will see the data tables. We will see how to uh, how to do examples. For example, for how to to write scenario outlines, and so on and so forth. And then we will see also the development part and we will implement the, our, our feature file or our tests using the Java language. So keep up guys!